Yes. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Nice to meet you. Running a little late, huh, Jennifer? Well, late. It's 12.03. Well, you're supposed to be here at 12. A good rep is always on time. And if you want to keep up with my reputation, you need to arrive 15 minutes early. That way you can go over your samples, strategize, and collect your thoughts. Sorry, I'm, I'm new to LA. Well, that's okay. Once you take over my territory, you can do with it what you want. You can run it into the ground if you want to. Oh, well, I apologize, but the traffic was really bad. Traffic in LA is bad 24 hours a day. Just leave a little earlier next time, okay? Well, if we're late, I'll just tell the doctor it was my fault. I'm sure I'll understand. Understand. <laughs> Let me break this down to you. It is a different world out here than the one they painted for you in training class. Time is of the essence, and at the end of the day, you need 10 doctor signatures if you want to keep your job. And these doctors, they're not waiting around their offices for us to grace them with our presence. I don't care how cute you are. If you're lucky, you get one minute with your doctor after waiting for 30 minutes. They don't have time to hear about our latest miracle drugs. What I'm saying, honey, is doctors don't have time for excuses, and neither do I. Let's go. Rita, it was great meeting you. Oh, it was my pleasure. And I hope your husband behaves so he can get his golf clubs back. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Got some pens. Cat, baby, I can't believe you set up that meeting with those assholes. Yes. What were you thinking? Don't blame me. I was just in the dark as everybody else. All right, guys, we gotta get our demos to the right people. All right, Zach. You're supposed to be the hustler, man. Why aren't you making any connections? Well, I'm the only one holding down a full-time job. Here we go again with that damn job. <laughs> that damn job is what's paying for your lunch. Man, stop acting like it's your money. You're expensing this meal. Who, who am I today, Dr. Dr. Chung? Oh, well, why don't we talk about my money, all right? I've already paid for all the demos and the studio time. Man, you did that for the group. <laughs> okay, well then let's talk about what I've done for you. I'm always paying part of your rent, your utilities, your cell phone. Go to hell, dude. Go to hell. Hey, hey, you can't hey, 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 Truth hurt. Truth hurt. You guys, stop. You guys, stop. You acting like a bunch of women. <laughs> hey, 40 bucks. I'm sure you want to pay. It's like I'll be Dr. Chung today. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> My manager's sitting directly across from us. Whatever you do, don't look. <laughs> don't look! I said don't look. Come on, dude. What's her name? I'll tell her to come over here. What? What was that about? <laughs> Landon, are you okay? Yes. Why? Well, we visited three doctors today and we're only able to see one. And we wouldn't have seen that one if I hadn't stepped in. And it was due to your poor planning. Nikki. If the receptionists aren't letting me in, what am I supposed to do? Oh, you don't ask them to let you in. You make them let you in. I try. Well, from what I saw, you didn't have a rapport with the office staff. You know, if you were at Dr. Garcia's office three times in the last six weeks, why didn't the receptionist know you? She sees dozens of reps and vendors, not to mention countless patients every day. Well, that's no excuse. You know, take Zach, for example. When I ride with him, the entire office knows his name, and that's because he works hard. Look, it's about building rapport, and you don't do that. In the two minutes you took to go get your Paxa trim samples, I made a connection with that simple girl by complimenting her on that hideous Don King bracelet and making her think that my husband was a bad gift giver. That's rapport. I mean, she even insisted that I see the doctor after telling you he was too busy. Nikki, trust me, when you go back there, she'll still be asking about me. Nikki, I have been building rapport. Well, from what I observed today, your sales approach is entirely unsatisfactory. Unsatisfactory? I think that's a little unfair. Unfair, wow. Um, we went to three offices and you didn't have a rapport with any of them. You barely spoke to Dr. Garcia. You were missing drug samples and you didn't even leave any company pens. Nikki, you took over the sales call. I could barely get a word in. No, I stepped up and navigated because you were being unprofessional. Oh, I don't think I can be called unprofessional because I didn't want to talk over you. The meeting was going great and I decided to follow your lead. And that's the problem. See, the purpose of the ride-along is for me to watch you lead. 
You know, when we hired you two years ago, you seemed to have a zest for the job. You were detail-oriented and aggressive. You just, you seem to... Look, Landon, the sales field is a jungle and you have got to be a hunter. Are you a hunter? If I were a hunter, you'd be the first thing I shoot, bitch. Excuse me? Yes. Yes, I am. That's what I thought. Good. <clears throat> Looks good, huh? What are you gonna have? 